kids, look at my puppet. Sorry about that. Hello everyone and welcome back to another week in Japan. Today is Monday, which means it's time for, let me get comfortable, it's time for another episode of Digital Nomad Diaries. This is a series on my channel where I talk about digital nomad life, anything to do with long-term travel and also basics of backpacking. You can check out the playlist up there if you want to check out the other videos. Why am I talking very cockney? I don't know. And I just noticed I look so pale. I'm going to put a filter over this so that uh, I look tanned. Awesome. So I did a video last week about the 120 hour TEFL and this one is about online teaching platforms that I have some experience with. Just a note, this is not a guide or anything, it's purely my experience, your experience may differ and other people's may also differ, just to clarify that. You know, teaching online is a great way of prolonging your travels, it's a great way of earning money and becoming location independent, as well as meeting new people, awesome people, which I've done so far. And believe it or not, there are other ways of becoming a digital nomad other than going to Chiang Mai in Thailand, sitting in a co-working space, drinking overpriced coffee, selling things on Amazon affiliates. I don't want to do that. There's other ways of doing it. So let's go into these four online teaching platforms. The first one is VIP Kids. Now this is an actual company that you'll get employed with on like a contract with a salary. And basically you will be teaching Chinese children in China a certain amount of time a week. But there are a couple of issues with this. So you need a bachelor, bachelor's degree, as you do to teach in an actual classroom in many cases. The second thing is that you need to be a native English speaker. And you might think, oh, that's great. I speak English. I'm from England. But no, you have to have an American accent. And, you know, no offence to any American viewers, because I know 20% of my viewers are from America, so don't unsubscribe. I was really annoyed about this when I first read it because I, you know, I'm from England, I was born in England, why can I not teach with them? But when I calm down, which I have to do quite a lot, you may have noticed this, I kind of got thinking and thought that actually China is a large player in terms of the global economy and business and the world and more than likely a lot of these children that you're teaching will probably get a job with a large international company when they grow up and will most likely have to deal with people with an American accent. So it does make sense. So, you know, this one um, wasn't for me at all. The other thing that you have to have is proof um, that you can work in the US, even though you might not actually be working in the US because you're a digital nomad. So it's a bit strange. The next one is Dada ABC, which again is another company that allows you to teach Chinese children. So it's very similar, but there are some differences and I did actually apply with these people. Again, you need to have a bachelor's degree, but you don't. And this was the first alarm bell that rang in my head about this company because you can just do it with a TEFL. I didn't have to send them my TEFL diploma. I even specifically asked in an email. They said, no, don't need that. So actually, you could just be anyone. You don't need a bachelor's degree and you don't need a TEFL, which is just ridiculous. When you get an email back, they'll ask you to do a Skype interview. And this includes a connection test. So obviously, you have to have good Wi-Fi or good connection to do lessons. So if you're somewhere like Malaysia or Cambodia, don't even think about it because it ain't going to work. That's one reason I came to Japan because of the better connection. Obviously I am just relying on Wi-Fi so it may be different if you have a data plan with a local SIM card. The pay is up to 25 US dollars a week. You can work up to 15 hours a week and what was the other thing? I've got it written down. You have to work uh, Beijing time six till nine. So for me it's okay. So I'm in Japan it's only one hour difference. So in terms of all that, it all sounded great so far. Then you have to do a dummy lesson or a demo lesson. And this is with an actual Chinese child, not a fake one, not a cardboard cutout, a real one. And you actually get the material sent to you for this demo, it, demo lesson. Yes, that's the word. And I've watched a lot of videos about this. And a lot of people say that they have gone out to buy props like a puppet or you know things to put behind them in the background so one of the things that they apparently look for is you've got things like the ABCs or map of the world or a globe you know obviously this background is totally suitable top notch to teach children you know the wardrobe you've got the buzzing fridge which by the way I've just turned off <sighs> so that was kind of another thing because I didn't I'm, I'm not that sort of person I don't like teaching children I don't really like children 
I'm going to be honest, I prefer to teach adults. Um, and I'm not going to sit there like an idiot in a hostel with drunk backpackers walking behind me, you know, saying, hi kids, look at my puppet. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so that isn't for me. And, and when I said to them that, you know, it's not really for me, and also I do other things like YouTube, work away, it's just too much for me to do. And I simply said, sorry, thanks for the, thanks for the interest. I don't want to do it. But oh no, I've got a rude reply saying, no, we need to do the interview. Uh, I didn't say you had to do 15 hours a week. You could be very flexible. No, if they're going to respond like that, no chance. Um, and a lot of people say that Dada ABC is a scam. I think potentially it is. So yeah, no chance. Now, if you want more flexibility in terms of when you teach or you don't want to be actually employed by a company with a contract that you have to stick to, you can be a freelance English teacher, which is what I do. So effectively you join an app like Preply or Italki. There's loads of other ones that you can use, but I'm just gonna talk about those two because they're the ones I've got experience with. And you can basically teach when you want and you can fit it around your life and every other commitment you've got, which is so far working out really well for me. So let's talk about Preply first. This is the one that I actually started to use quite a lot, first of all, but things change and I'll explain why. So it's just a website, it's not an app. It's not particularly easy to use to be honest, so you don't get notifications on your phone about lessons, things like that. You have to actually go into your email or go into your Preply account to check these things. The second thing is there seems to be an issue with their website in terms of time zones. So I obviously move around a lot. I went from Malaysia to Indonesia to Japan. I changed my time zone in each country, but it didn't change. So people were booking lessons on an old time zone. I was missing lessons. They were missing lessons, etc. And the other issue with Preply is that the pay. Okay, so the first lesson with anyone is for nothing. Preply gets all of that commission. Then any other lesson you do, it's a different percentage of commission that goes to Preply depending on how many lessons that you actually taught. So I believe it's zero to 200 hours worth. I might be wrong. 33% commission, which is insane. So if you do a lesson for $10 an hour, you're getting like six dollars something which is just stupid so all in all i have scrapped preply okay i'm not using it anymore instead i use italki which i've literally fallen in love with it's brilliant and i'll talk about the application process for italki which is similar with preply you have to upload your tefl certificate or whatever qualification you've got to show that you are an actual qualified english teacher which i did the other thing you have to do is record a video so just like this. And I did this when I was in Bali. Um, and by the way, it's set as unlisted on YouTube, so you cannot watch it unless you go to my preply account. It's really embarrassing because I had to be professional and all that. Doesn't doesn't come easy to me. And once you've done all that, you fill out, you know, all the usual stuff that you would with a um, with a profile like that, and you then get approved. So you get approved as a teacher. You can either get approved as a basic someone that does informal teaching. So someone without a qualification, so you can do it if you haven't got a TEFL, but you wouldn't get much money for it. The app, to be honest with you, I find brilliant. It's so easy. It's just like checking your Facebook or Instagram every day. You'll check your notifications in terms of lessons that you've got uh, that requested, so you can then plan them in. It's just brilliant. And in terms of payment as well, it's very easy. You just simply look at your wallet and transfer it to your PayPal or Payoneer. So overall, I'm just using italki now. It's gonna be different for you. You know, my situation is gonna be completely different from yours. So all I would say is do your research and find the thing that works for you. Dada ABC might be the right thing, VIP kids, italki, preply, or whatever. It's up to you. So if you found this useful, don't forget to leave a comment. Why don't you tell me about your teaching experience and what apps you use, that sort of thing. It'd be great to know. And also for other people watching that are thinking about getting into this, that'll just give them some more information to go with and um, don't forget to subscribe as well because there's some more videos coming on this subject as I live the life of a digital nomad without overpriced coffee in a co-working space. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a good week. I'll catch you later.